So now I'm recording from Israel and I'm standing a little down on my knees so the camera can focus on me and I'm talking in English since I think more people will understand this rather than I speak in Danish. Anyways, and plus most of my family in even isn't even Danish, so what the fuck? But I've been in one week, about one week in Israel, Tel Aviv, and I haven't filmed anything yet because I wanted to explore the things first and this is my map. It's all of the interesting parts of Tel Aviv actually from what I've seen and understand and I've been most of it already. So we have the beach now and I just got myself an ice cream which is about to melt. I just bought it. Mm. It's already melting. Melting. Nice. But that's the beach. Real nice looking actually. I still need to do that. I'm a lazy gun. Just to make sure. Alright, so I passed the beach by now, but then you get to this when you pass the beach. You're like, damn, still. It's, it's, it's good looking, okay? Okay, it's good looking. Look at all these fancy, high buildings, tall buildings. But then, they turn that high for themselves. No idea what that building is. But I keep thinking it's a mosque because of the tall lights or what that would be called, I don't know. So this is a park, apparently. This seems like the main point. So it's actually a small city, old city, to say it as it is. With Kind of old architecture and very, it's a very dusty place, but I think that's what makes this place unique. It's a very Arabic kind of style, such like a desert kind of style compared to the rest of what I've seen in Tel Aviv. So. I can understand why this is a unique place. <laughs> 